So, Ruby Jason Richardson. He's a real high flyer from the Game Breaker set. He's got an A inside, A three point scoring, A minus athleticism. Hot zones, he's got four out of five hot zones from the three point line with a decent three point shot. Very good three point shot, actually. So he'll knock those down. I kind of stay away from the mid ranges with him. As you can see, I played one game, six minutes, 14 points, all that. I mean, that's only one game. He's got four uh, goal badges, no really shooting badges, but Relentless might help. Posterizer, obviously, with such a good shot. 95 standing, 88 driving layup. He's a 75 draw foul, so not the highest. 86 mid range, 88 three pointer, 85 three or free throw. My bad, and uh, 83 ball control. So the ball control shoe, he will be able to speed boost. I don't speed boost personally, but some people do. Defense is very respectable. 95 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk, and 85 contact dunk. I've played a few games with this card, and I can already tell you that he does windmill dunks, reverses everything on people. 82 speed, 80 with ball. You could up that with the shoe if you wanted to. I don't really use a shoe on him but as I said let's get into the game blacktop we'll see what uh, my opponents got in store for me so taking a look at my opponents team first of all I have Ruby J Rich but I also got Sapphire Amari though those two were teammates back in the day they're probably teammates on these cards actually and uh, this guy's got Ruby Kenneth Freed Antonio Davis and gold Alfred Payton so three people that cannot shoot the three ball and I have two that can so I'm thinking about doing a full game for this one actually, which might kind of be cool as he does miss that with Alfred Payton. He's going to try to D me up with someone else, but that's not going to happen. Green Bean, even though he was coming up to guard me with Alfred, I believe he's trying to guard me up with Antonio Davis, which I haven't tried that card. I probably will never try that card, but I do have him locked in from the Pacers set. He gets a drive by me there with Alfred Payton. Oh, dunk time. Showtime right there, left-handed dunk. I held back. I was hoping for a little more something than that, but uh, at least he dunked it. You know, he just dunk. He almost dunked on me with Alfred Payton. That's only the gold version. It's one step up from the uh, bronze base card he started with. Hold it back for the dunk and nothing. I get stuffed by the two big men. Somehow that was out of bounds. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. A little confused at that one, but it is what it is. I mean, I got the ball, so. We pull back. Oh, dunked on him. That was nasty. Oh boy. Alrighty. He's got shooting threes with Antonio Davis. I like that from a uh, opponent's perspective, at least. I'm not gonna try to score all uh, 15 with Ruby J. Rich, I don't think. Actually, I might. But uh, there, yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. Della Shrimp, five to two. I will try to make this video kind of quick also for a full game as I'm going to put it into. There's no point in really cutting it up when uh, it's such a great player that I'm going to be using here. Show them all of what I got. Plus, I never do full games, so I mean, it's a nice opportunity to do one on blacktop. I try to hold back. See, that's the one thing though with these full games. You'll see me mess up sometimes, and I'm trying to get fancy with it with Jay Rich for like some highlights and all that. But uh, yeah, normally if you. If you don't pull back, he will finish a lot. I do notice that with the card. Yeah, I like that um, behind the back that he has. Let me get a pick and roll with Amari. Old teammates, never mind. As he knocks it out of bounds. The Munstoppables. I don't know, he's got like some Pokemon guy. As his logo. Uh-oh, leaving Shrimp open, that's not a good idea. Green Bean. I have pulled Shrimp off the board, and uh, he's goal catch and shoot now. I don't know if he came with it, but I used him for a while because I pulled him pretty early on in the year. I think him and Amethyst Amari, I pulled really quicker, quicker, huh, quickly in the year, and so I've been using them. Let's see if I can sucker him into a three-point shot with Alfred Payton. I guess not. No foul, though. That's a good... Straight up by Amari. See, I, I feel like this guy might quit too because a lot of these players that I play, like I am in the Ruby um, Second Prestige Ruby League in my team online, so I'm not like a bad player by any means. But I mean, I'm not the greatest. But let's see what he's got going with that. That was just too crazy of a move not to do. Like when I'm up five to th or seven to three, five to three, seven to three there. Big boy, if I can count and or read, that would be nice. 
I don't know what's his ruby or not ruby alpha painting because that's the best card he has is ruby but this uh gold alpha painting I don't know what his deal is oh, let me get fancy with it oh two in a windmill he didn't even want to contest that one that was nasty this card is uh pretty, um what did I say uh comparable to the Jill Green out there leave shrimp open again he might miss that one yeah, no, Shrimp isn't the most consistent shooter for me, I noticed that. That's why I stopped using him way back in the day. Way back in the day, like four months ago. And he missed another layup. But I forgot what I was saying. Uh, yeah. Can't remember. Something about somebody. I'll look back at it and I'll say I'm retarded. I'm not being able to remember what I was saying five minutes ago, but or five seconds. He does miss another layup. He's just trying to force it now, it looks like. He wants to leave Jay Rich open. That's fine by me. I noticed uh, Antonio Davis didn't really come up and try to defend that shot, but I still missed it, which is kind of weird. And I also thought that Ruby Jay Rich would have a higher block with his. He has such a high vertical. Like, why don't he be able to block shots, you know? There he is with a crazy cockback tomahawk dunk there. Poppy Cow 60 Juan. This guy's username. He doesn't want to shoot threes. He can't shoot threes, actually. Well, I mean, he could, you know, but he's not going to make it. He did shoot one with Antonio Davis, which I think was a bad shot, because I don't think he can shoot. But I was just pounding it inside with his big men. He got the little switch off mismatch he probably wanted. That's about all you can hope for at this point, as I am with five. And be adding to that here or J Rich depending on who I you know shrimp is gonna be adding to it see knocks down it see I had faith in shrimp because I don't know for some reason he just I just felt like he's gonna knock it down I get the steal with J Rich I didn't do that he did it himself another three or shrimp I know this is a showcase in depth of shrimp more than um, J Rich or J Rich has got six two and four and shrimp's got seven hmm I mean, it is what it is, though. This is just like an all-around black tie. I'm not trying to really force it. I was in the beginning with Jay Rich, but, you know, a game is a game, and you can't... I know, like, to be real with the cards, you can't just, like, force everything like that. You gotta take what's given to you. And Jay Rich was given a dunk right there, so he's gonna take that. I'll try to get the last point with Jay Rich, at least, hopefully. That's why I passed up in that open three with Shrimp. I know he was open. And I also passed on a drive with Amari. Uh, this guy might actually shoot a three now. Yep, he does. Without for Peyton, doesn't knock it down as I expected. I'm trying to get some crazy dunk with uh, Jay Rich to end it off here. Uh oh, blows by him with the. I was gonna say blows by him with the speed, but he doesn't have any speed. He's at 81 speed or something like that. 80 with with ball. All right, let him shoot that through with Antonio Davis if he wants, or shoot it through without for Peyton. So uh, that's why also too uh, sometimes at the end of the games. The stats will look a little skewed or whatnot, or not skewed, but um, closer than it really was, I feel like. Because, wow, he actually made that. I was pulling back for a dunk, but I, what I was going to say was that's probably why the stats are closer at the end of games. I was trying to concentrate on the game, and I couldn't really think of what to say. But at the end of the games, the stats are kind of closer to some sometimes sometimes because I'm trying to shoot with just one player and get them all their points and you know 15 with one player and all that but really it's just highlight them and their natural like playing and all that all that all that all that anyways J Rich 8 shrimp is 7 I didn't shoot with him right but he did a 4 and 3 so he played pretty solid for me uh, J Rich also had 3 rebounds and 4 assists and 7 to 12 and 1 for 3 yeah, so I showed in the beginning is that 88 three ball didn't really show off. Shrimp's got a 90 and he went three for four and J Rush was only one for three. But, you know, sometimes you shoot better than others. Let's get into the picks for this game. All three of them. Boy. Okay, let's go pick number one. I always do these random and I get a tech. That's just beautiful. And I get back to back text. Don't you just love this game? Alrighty then, and all I already have all three of those players, so why don't you just let me pull all three of them at once and give me like 3,000 MT? Because obviously I'm not going to switch them out if I got them bashed out to my liking as I get 500 MT, so they kind of answered my request there with 500 MT. 
Hopefully you like the full game. Comment down below if you did like the full game or if you want me to keep it cutting it up like that and make it like two or three minute videos instead of eight or nine. I'm going to just probably about ten minutes I feel like. But yeah, so I will see you in the next one.